Hi, I'm Natricia Bernard and I'm a choreographer and creative director. I work on the movement side of videos. I work alongside the director. He will give me a treatment. We'll go through the treatment and we'll go through the structure of it, storyboards, and basically I bring to life his concept. I then work with the artists or the dancers or the actors, whichever is in the treatment, and we then produce movement or choreography and we shoot a video. With choreography, you have steps and normally counted from one to eight with an intro of five, six, seven, eight, which can be group, um, it can be unison, it can be individual, it could be freestyled. With movement direction, you are normally working for an artist and sometimes you may just work on angles, like for example, the angle of your face. You might work on the shapes, the silhouettes, if the treatment is about um, a relationship and you're in love and you've been hurt, the moves would obviously be telling this story. We use movement as a way of um, showing our expressions. Just like artists sing about it, we use our body to show this. So when we go into rehearsals, we'll teach it to the dancers or we'll teach it to the artists. And then we then have to change it because as much as you prep things with yourself or do things with yourself, when you see it on other people, it's different. People who are delivering the performance is your performers and most importantly is your artists. If they look wrong, it's wrong. So you change it and you adapt it and you make it about them. Everything is about your artists. I've been dancing from the age of four and I've done my first commercial at five. Um, I've always been in front of the camera doing commercials and videos and live events. When I finished school, I went to college for three years, um, London Studio Centre, and leaving there, I then started assisting people like Lavelle Smith Jr, who used to work with Michael Jackson. I also worked with a number of UK choreographers and I danced and I modelled. When I was about 26, 27, I retired from dancing to start doing choreography. One day I'll be doing contemporary, the next day I'll be doing musical theatre, next day we'll be doing some street. Um, I work with ballet company a lot. Um, so the last of the old schools we call it because we're trained in all areas. I first worked with Florence and the Machine on her song Drumming. So Flo does a lot of art, like she's got really long arms and she's got really long legs. So we'd have the arms throwing and then we had all the girls with hair and if they didn't have long hair we'd put extensions on them to have longer hair and we'd have the hair flowing to go with it. So it was very dramatic, it was very, very passionate and the most recent video I'd done with Florence and again Dawn again was um, Shake It Out. Florence isn't someone who does dance routines but she respects my opinion enough to take direction. But we've built up a trust relationship so she knows that I'm, you know, I'm giving her what is needed and she just does it and I just thought that she performed in that short amount of time an exceptional piece of movement. Another video that I really enjoyed doing was Rain on Your Parade with Duffy. I'm gonna rain on your parade. No, I won't take it again. It's nice to take it back to the old school and actually have a little bit of technique in it and that's what I thought was really nice and quite splendid. And you know we had dancers doing tricks, um, we had dancers flipping, um, everyone was able to show their best performance, what they're great at, their skills. Anyone wanting to pursue a career as a choreographer, I would say go for it. It's an amazing job. In a video, we are so open to show what we have and to bring out the best of people and, you know, show new styles. Everything has been done before, but we, we change it and we make it even better. I'd also say, you know, training is great, but from another point of view, not the best people are people are trained. The truth of the fact is, within our industry, we're creatives, and you either create or you don't. If you're using choreography, for your competition entry, a little word of advice I would give is to prep. Prep, 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 prep. Do your homework, talk with the director, go for everything. When you do a rehearsal, make sure you have a big enough space so you can facilitate everybody. 
make sure always at the beginning of the day you make sure of the shoot day everyone has warmed up you don't want it you don't want people injured we're always doing two things at once we don't just sit around and then when they call us we go oh we now need to warm up we're already warmed so as soon as they're ready for us we're good to go so i'd say if you are going to choreograph it and you're going to be in it then get an assistant then and i'd also say get a little bit of experience um, practice your dance routines and film it and watch it back if you start doing that, then you see it from a broader point of view. You don't just see it from, I think that's quite cool, I quite like that. You see it from a point of view of, okay, this is what other people see.